It is June 13th, 2022, and you're watching The Code Report. Things move fast on the World Wide Web. Just a few months ago, Web3 was all the rage, but then Bitcoin crashed 50%, NFT sales collapsed, the Ponzi-nomics of tokens like Luna stopped working, and even networks like Celsius and exchanges like Binance are not letting people get their money out. This is all totally normal and nothing to be concerned about at all. The Lambos are still coming. Now, if you haven't been paying attention, we've already moved ahead to Web5, because just the other day, billionaire Jack Dorsey steamrolled right over Web4 and announced Web5, which they're calling the Decentralized Web Platform. Like most people, you might be thinking that this announcement is satire. <laughs> you serious? but apparently they're totally serious about it. It's being developed by the Blockhead unit at Block, formerly Square, and the idea is to provide a decentralized internet layer based on Bitcoin's Lightning Network, where users own and control their data and have a wallet, just like Web3, that can connect their identity to any app without needing to sign up and explicitly share their data with the host app. When it comes to app developers, instead of building PWAs, you would build DWAs, where the web app is not served by a centralized app server, most likely owned by Amazon, Google, or Microsoft, but rather a decentralized node owned by some other user on the network. Most notably though, there will be no tokens involved other than Bitcoin itself. That means end users won't have to worry about investing in all these different shitcoins, like this one called Ethereum that went from 4800 to 1200 in just a few months. Not to mention the insane gas fees that you have to pay just to perform trivial transactions with Web3. And as many critics have pointed out, the current state of Web3 is not decentralized at all, but rather controlled by a small number of VCs and Silicon Valley insiders. It's unfortunate because decentralization is a really awesome concept for the web. You don't actually need cryptocurrency to make it work, you just need a bunch of people participating and benefiting from the system. BitTorrent has been doing this for file sharing long before Bitcoin was even a thing. Now the funny thing about Web5 is that it's being spearheaded by Jack Dorsey, a CEO with an excellent track record of not caring about your speech, privacy, or freedom. You're a big fat phony! Like you wouldn't want Mark Zuckerberg to be king of the metaverse. In the same way, you definitely don't want Jack Dorsey to be king of Web5. Personally, I'm putting all my bets on Web6, which is already under development by Snoop Dogg. This has been The Code Report. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.